another one. What's good YouTube and welcome Tano in another video about Warframe, this time it's about the Eternate Glaxion, the newest uh, Tenet weapon in the game right now, let's get to the builds. And starting first with the Warframe build, uh, this time I took it a bit different, I didn't rely on the Emerald Darkon Shards to Armor Strip, but if your Tenet Glaxion Progenitor leads you to Corrosive, you can run two Emerald Darkon Shards to Armor Strip enemies without rolling on Fox School or any Helmet ability to Armor Strip. Totally up to you. It's actually how you want your Progenitor to run with your uh, Synergy, where you're going to take the weapon. It's up to you. Revenant Prime build, you can do this in any Warframe. It doesn't have to be a Revenant, all right? Rifle Amp, Arcane Acceleration, Arcane Rage, any Helmet ability you want. I'm just going to give you a couple examples here and there. All right. Now, the... Tenet Glaxion, first thing you need to know that my Glaxion uh, Progenitor running Toxin and the weapon comes with Cold. It's automatically combines and it's creating Viral. You need to understand what you really want. Now, Galvanite Chamber, Galvanite Aptitude, Vital Sense, Critical Delay, Radiator Reload, Primate Bane of Corrupted, uh, Primate Crew Rounds, Hunter Munitions. Uh, this one is really important because 30% chance to apply Slash on Critical. As you can see, the weapon doesn't have Impact, doesn't have Puncture, doesn't have Slash. So Hunter Munitions is really best in slot. Sinister uh, Reach, it's totally up to you. It's really amazing, especially on the chains from distance and all. But if you want, you can run anything you really want. It won't matter. But Primary Deadhead, on the other hand, gives you 30% headshot multiplier. Also, on Precision Headshot Kill, 120% damage for 24 seconds. You need to focus on the 24 seconds. Okay, let's go. Test it without a uh, roar. There you go, and then I'm gonna just uh, give it a roar so you guys have an idea how much power this weapon is capable of. Look at this. Melting those enemies uh, like they don't even exist. This is level 225, uh, Heavy Corrupted Gunners, uh, Steel Path Edition, baby. Alright. Boom. They're down. Boom. There we go. You already can see the difference here. Okay. So now let's talk about Armor Strip. Of course... Armor Strip is something amazing in the game and you would love to have. Really simple. Use Unido or any helmet ability to Armor Strip. You go right here and boom. And then you'll be actually one tapping them. They're just gone. Next build will be about Corpus. This time the build will be running Toxin and Magnetic. Bane of Corrupted, we're going to switch it to Primed Bane of Corpus. That's uh, more advanced gameplay. High voltage, Hunter Munitions, Sinister Breach, and Primary Dead Head. Postec Eximus. Boom. And switch something else, like for example, Nourish. Since we don't have Viral, we have Toxin and Magnetic only. So when we reach their HP, we can actually take them down easily. And check this out. Melting them like butter. Boom. You already saw this in the speedrun. This weapon is really, really uh, powerful. Because it's like you can build it around a lot of uh, Progenitor. So you need to understand and decide what you really uh, want. Let's try another build. This time we're gonna go for Void Cascade. Uh, Governance Chamber, Governance Aptitude, uh, Vital Sense, Critical Delay, Vigente Armament, uh, Heavy Caliber, Serration, Primed Crew Round, so we're going for Viral. And of course, Secondary Deadhead. Now we need to Armor Strip uh, with uh, Unairo. We have Viral, we didn't even need to activate Nourish, uh, but there we go, Armor Stripping, and then boom, dead. Pop, pop, and gone. Choosing the progenitor is really, really, really important because the weapon comes with built-in cold. The moment you choose the progenitor, it's like, think about it, it's just going directly to, like, with the weapon. Like, it's going to combine immediately with the weapon. So you go toxin, you go free viral, you go, for example, something else is going to combine with it. And it's really hard to maneuver around. So think about that. Uh, I want to say, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, sub, and join our Discord. The link in the description. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you like the build. Uh, and, of course, the next video will be about the Kuba. So, back, big love, and see you next time.